how do you anticipate your role, you know, so far through the off season and prep for, you know, a couple weeks from now? I mean, um, I've put a lot of work in, obviously, uh, in the past few months and working on transforming my body and being able to become more of a uh, diverse player and so they can use me in whatever role they want to. So, I mean, I've just worked really hard on being able to be the kind of player that they can put wherever they want. And so I feel like I've done a good job. Uh, I still have work to do, obviously, and there's a lot of areas that I can still improve on, but I'm working my hardest every day to be able to play wherever they want me to play. I'm ready for that challenge, and I'm really excited for it. And what are those personal goals for you? Are you trying to reach certain numbers? Just what, what are those goals? Um, no, I don't really have any specific numbers I want to reach. I just know the level of play that I can play at, and I just have those high expectations for myself. What's, uh, what's the feel like without Connor around? I know he kind of took you under his wing last season. What were you able to sort of take away from that relationship? And, you know, now that you've learned it, what, what are your expectations now for it? Yeah, it was definitely a little difficult at first just because, like you guys said, he was a huge influence on me, and it was really nice to have somebody that was of his age and experience uh, around the field at all times, almost like another coach, but on a little more personal level. But uh, he taught me a lot about just who I am and being myself, and so it made the transition really easy on uh, taking challenges head on and whenever I'm struggling, also giving a, an outlet for someone that I can talk to still whenever I need to. With so many new faces, how has the chemistry like been so far? Oh, it's been great. Uh, I love all the guys in there. Uh, we all hang out a lot and we spend probably 75% of our day in here together. And so, I mean, I can't name a person in there that I don't enjoy being with. And that's a great team and just a great little family that we have. And have some leaders emerged from this group yet? Oh, most definitely. But uh, it's not anything that we feel like it's uh, something that's forced to happen. It's just some people have that in them. And it's good to that they are able to bring that out and be those vocal leaders on the field or those just physical example leaders, such as someone like Ryan Campos, who doesn't talk a lot, a lot like Joe Lampy, who kind of took him under his wing last year, just kind of goes out there and puts his head down and works. And so he's a great guy that leads by example. With open house being tomorrow, what do you want the fans and anybody attending to walk away knowing about this year's team? Um, honestly, that we're just here to compete. I mean, we're really excited for the season, and we just want to show you guys that we're here to compete and do a lot of big things this year. And what do you think having the alumni and everybody, obviously you're a returner this year, but for the new roster, having the alumni and instilling that Sun Devil culture, what do you think it does for the team? Oh, it's awesome. It shows everybody that if you come to ASU for baseball, you're going to be somebody. I mean, everyone that comes back is a big name and everybody knows them. So if you come here, you're not to say there's high expectations, but there's some good chances that you'll become somebody. So it's really exciting to see that. Are there any um, changes as far as you can tell in the culture, or has that sort of been a constant thing for you from freshman to sophomore year? Uh, no, I feel like uh, Coach Bluequist has done a really good job at uh, keeping a constant culture of us being really competitive, but also having a good time playing this game. And so once we get out there, we're definitely going to be ready, and we'll be ready to face any challenge there is. And there's not going to be anything that stops us, but we're still going to have a good time doing it. That trio of, of you, Will, and, and Campos now in your sophomore year, um, what's, what's your guys' relationship like? And, and how do you expect um, your roles now that you're in that uh, second year? I mean, us three, we're really close. I mean, especially like Will's my roommate, and me and Ryan are, uh, me and Ryan are like family. I love that guy. And so I feel like we have really good relationships, and it kind of just helps us to build off each other where we can point things out that maybe others won't be as confident to tell us about and so uh, we just kind of help pick each other up and I mean obviously like everyone else we're all expecting big things for each other this year and so I'm super excited about that.